We did it. Me di Chloido. All those late nights, all those hours spent working through the daylight, until the moon was the only thing we could see glow. Say goodbye to the takeaways, as we take away invaluable growth. All the research, maybe it allowed you to search within yourself, to push through the inevitable challenge ahead. Maybe it helped you find that resurge of energy. Maybe at university is where you had your light bulb inspiring moment. That realization is monumental in leading you to your next destination. All the lectures, we thank our lecturers, our mentors. All the stress, the laughter, the thousands of words typed. The references, oh, we won't miss writing references. The new friendships we made, the new experiences we braved. From Landaff to the Kinkoid campus, sing your anthem on the track and on the grounds, wear that cap and gown proud. You've painted your canvas with memories, and when you throw that cap up, remember it represents you floating in this melody. What a time to be alive. We did it. We earned our degree with perseverance, with self-belief. We worked hard, we earned our achievements. Use that knowledge developed and self-awareness to do what makes you get out of bed in the morning. I promise, then you will flourish. You might not know it, but you are an inspiration to somebody. Maybe it's a family member, a younger brother or sister, or somebody you spoke to on a night out, or somebody who has seen you doing you. We are all vibrations, but you get to choose your frequency. Equally, somebody out there is proud of you, and you should be proud of you. You are reaching high altitudes. Increase the raw amplitude of your empowering voice, and allow it to bellow out so the sound connects where goosebumps form on the back of necks. Just like that moon on those dark nights, you are glowing. Whatever your aspirations are next, I know you will be flowing, riding the wave of life, reaching higher heights, so keep growing. You are in control of where you're going. We did it. Nidi Chloido. Keep on believing in your ability. Use your energy to form your legacy. Congratulations. This is graduation. Llon gavach yadai. Dama eich gradio. Good morning. Friends and guests, we are proud to welcome you to Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremonies for the class of 2023. You have made it. Fringai Agustayon, ready my vice Sawi e ceremony I gradio, Privascol Metropolitan Kayodir, a Governor Varwe of Dui Vila Dai Victory. Dai Just a couple of housekeeping points. Can you please make sure your mobile phone is on silent for the ceremony? We do not expect any fire alarms today, but should the unexpected happen, the staff of Wales Millennium Centre will escort you to the assembly points. We would ask that you remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony and the stage party has processed out. Let's show our appreciation of all our students by applauding and cheering as the graduates process across the stage. We want you all to enjoy the day, so ask you to respect others who are also graduating with you. We know that you want everyone to enjoy the day as much as you will. Please be upstanding for the academic procession. Diochumar. <laughs>
Distinguished guests, I declare this congregation open. Please be seated. Whereas the Board of Governors on the first day of April 1996 resolved to appoint a president on the institution becoming a college of the University of Wales, and whereas it resolved also to appoint the Lord Mayor of the City and County of Cardiff ex officio as the incumbent of that office, and whereas on the seventh day of July 2015, the Board of Governors resolved to establish the positions of Chancellor of the University and Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President of the University and to appoint the Lord Mayor of the City and County of Cardiff ex officio as Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President. As Chair of Governors, I now invite the pres present Lord Mayor, Councillor Bablin Mollick, to be installed as Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President Lord Mayor, you've heard the resolutions of the Board of Governors. Do you accept the nomination as Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President of Cardiff Metropolitan University? I do. I now require you to make a declaration of fidelity to Cardiff Metropolitan University. Okay. I, Councillor Bablin Mollick, the Lord Mayor of the City and County of Cardiff, do solemnly and sincerely declare that I will well and faithfully serve Cardiff Metropolitan University as its pro-chancellor and honorary president, that I will studiously observe its laudable provisions, rights and liberties, so far as they may not pregnant um, to the laws and statutes of realms, and I will endeavor to encourage the realization of this mission. By virtue of my office as Chair of Governors at the University, I now install you, Lord Mayor, as Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President of Cardiff Metropolitan University. May the University prosper and develop with your support and the support of your successors. I now call upon the Principal and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Cara Aitchison, to give the opening address. Boreda Achraiso Kunas in Ceremony Radio, Lord Mayor and Honorary Pro-Chancellor, Chancellor, Chair of the Board of Governors, students' union officers, colleagues, graduands, families and friends, it's our great pleasure to receive students from across Wales and the wider world for this graduation ceremony for Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences, class of 2023. And we're delighted to do so within this magnificent setting and crossing the stage this week, this is the first of 10 ceremonies, will be 3,580 students from 96 countries stretching from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. And this morning, in addition to students from Cardiff Metropolitan University, we're delighted to welcome students from Cardiff and Vale College, Colleague Gwent, and City Unity College in Greece one of our 13 international partner colleges, which together offer Cardiff Met degrees to a further 12,000 students. And this is a ceremonial occasion. It's evolved over your university's 158-year history. It's also a celebratory occasion, and I encourage you to show your appreciation for your fellow students as they cross the stage by applauding the last as loudly as the first. And our desire to make a difference is writ large in the work of your school. And I want to acknowledge the leadership shown by your Dean, Professor Katie Thurloway, and Deputy Dean, 
Professor Hugh Wiltshire, together with the wider staff team. And following the award of the Times Higher Education UK and Ireland University of the Year title in December 2021, we received the People and Planet Award of the number one UK university for sustainability in December 2022. And during the course of this last year, you have provided many more reasons for us to applaud your achievements and those of your fellow students and staff. And here are just a dozen highlights from your school over this last year. Many of you have contributed to the recent development and delivery of the Cardiff Move More strategy and to our Open Campus program, which provides physical activity, sport, health and well-being opportunities to thousands of school children from across Cardiff, widening opportunities and raising aspirations. Anjali Chauhan, a podiatry student, was awarded the prestigious Mitax Global Research Internship and spent 12 weeks at the University of British Columbia in Canada researching vibration stimuli in people with diabetic neuropathy. Dr. Claire Glennon and Dr. Heidi Sieg ran a highly successful accredited psychology module for asylum seekers and refugees, giving learners the opportunity to come to campus and experience being part of a university community. And on Friday, Claire and Heidi were presented with the Vice-Chancellor's Award for Civic Mission for their work. Professor Phil James, in collaboration with Kumtaf Morgana Health Board, has received over £250,000 in funding from the Stroke Association to test biomarkers for stroke that could improve stroke prevention. And Professor Diane Crone is leading a team at Cardiff Met who are part of a £1.7 million three-year multi-centre project funded by the National Institute for Health Research aimed at supporting older people become more active, connected and engaged. Anna Stembridge, Senior Lecturer in Sport Coaching, has been appointed Deputy Chef de Mission for Wales Commonwealth Youth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. And Cardiff Met men's cricket team were crowned Bucks national champions in 2023. Many Cardiff Met alumni have also been in the news over the last year for their sporting achievements. Rosie Eccles has been selected to represent GB Boxing at the Olympics. Adele Nicholl won gold in the shot putt at the recent UK Athletics Championships and Jeremiah Azu set a new Welsh 100 metres record at the same event. And having been selected last year as one of four UK centres for Premier Women's Wheelchair Basketball, Cardiff Met will now become the Welsh Rugby Union East Wales Women and Girls Rugby Development Centre. The school has also had significant success in developing teaching through the medium of Welsh, this year providing health students with the opportunity to learn Welsh while studying for their degree for the first time. And the school also secured funding from the Coleg Camraig Canad Lythol for three PhD studentships to conduct Welsh medium research. And the school has also developed 40 credit curricula in the medium of Welsh, enabling a significant increase in the proportion of students studying 40 credits through the medium of Welsh. These are fantastic achievements and I congratulate you and my colleagues on these enormous successes. And your university has four values, four behaviours and one motto that underpins much of that work. And as you embark on your graduate journeys, I ask that you celebrate our values of creativity, innovation, inclusivity, and trust, and that you live our behaviors of leadership, courage, agility, and accountability. Your university's motto is the most valuable possession is knowledge. So as you make your way in the world as sport and health science professionals, 
in our communities and around the globe. Please remember that you developed your extensive knowledge and skills during a global pandemic where you overcame some of the biggest challenges in the most difficult of times. Wherever you're from, however challenging it's been, and whatever route you took to arrive at this place on this day, you're here now because you've been successful. In most cases, your success will have been supported by the teaching and guidance provided by many of my colleagues on the platform and supported by the friendship and family of those in the congregation. So together, we would like to congratulate you as you show your appreciation for all those who have helped contribute to your success. Congratulations. My colleagues and I are extremely proud of each and every one of you. Please be proud of yourselves and enjoy this great day of ceremony and celebration. Many, many congratulations. Diolchen Varion. Thank you. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you students who have been awarded within the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences. Dr Sally Hicks will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science. Aya Jamal Malik Al Kwesi. <laughs> Tamina Begum. <laughs> uh, the next student is the recipient of a prize the Oxford University Press Prize for Achievement in Biosciences, Asme Chadley. <laughs> Harig Curran. <laughs> Ellie Louise Delahaye.
Darius De Paula. Mahika Deswell. Lois Evans. Yasmin Evans Morgan. Alana Christina Jai Han. Lauren Jade Hill. Peter Hopton. Elizabeth Laurent. Callum McEwen. Alicia Emily Matthews. Jade Nicole Magaki. Uh, the next student who is the recipient of the Professor Keith Morris Research Project Poster Prize, James Moore. Asia Faith Stevens. The next student is the recipient of the Institute of Biomedical Science President's Prize for the Biomedical Science Programme, Stephen Paul Trendle. And the last one, right? Prajita Tambapo. Dr. Catherine Withycombe will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences with Health, Exercise and Nutrition. This first student is the recipient of the Dylan Corsero Memorial Prize for the Best Research Poster, Martina Bensonova. Beatrice Benson Lawley. Annie Dalton. Leah Deasy. Bethan Dublin. Samantha Gailey. Amber Harris. Ellie Hopkins. Sydney March. Lydia MacDonald. Jordan Olson. Natasha Richards. Tassaby Soch. Madeline Squires. Farouk Uma Teabu. 
Dr. Maninda Alawalia will announce a student who have been awarded Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Biochemistry. David Robinson. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Microbiology, Malvika Baiju Ravi. The next student receives the award of best student in um, Master of Science, Biomedical Science in Medical Microbiology, Sacha Bhusha. Joe Dominguez. Priyanka Karunanithi. Neetu Madhusudan Pillai Thankaman. Marul Nisa. Victoria Ashley Pfeiffer. Laura Satterley. Kirsten Winterburn. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Medical Genetics and Genomics, Amina Aftab. <laughs> Emily Chamberlain. <laughs> Tyler Louise Williams. Eden Oshi. Dr. Ian Bezodis will announce the students who have been awarded Master of Research Biomedical Science. Holly Dawson. Abby Williams. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Cellular and Molecular Pathology, Jessica Page Jones. The student led teaching award for outstanding contribution to Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences Student Life is awarded to Dr. Lori Mainwaring. <laughs> Judith Watley will announce the students who have been awarded a higher national diploma, complementary health care with practitioner status colleague Gwent.
Dana Crinnings. Stacy Steed. Dawn Rowlands. Katie Jones. And for Cardiff and Vale College, HND and Complementary Therapies uh, in Complementary Healthcare with Practitioner Status, Nicole Boston Reese. Abby Day. Chloe Morgan. Alicia O'Sullivan. Joanne Williams. Joanna Young. <laughs> Professor Geoffrey Lewis will announce the students who have been awarded foundation degree in science in dental technology. Matthew Charles Lucas. James Sawyer. The Bachelor of Science with Honours in Dental Technology, Bataj Akunzada. Ur Talal Ibrahim Al Maini. Tala Khalid. My amico Bulliani. Zara Dianata Kauhanjani. Tina Dimitrova. <laughs> Nina Teresa Dominic. <laughs> Harrison John Goodman. <laughs> Paulina Hajus. Robin Harris. <laughs> Yasmin Hassin. <laughs> Nadia Islam. <laughs> Yusra Khan. Lucy Lister. <laughs> Seba Mia. <laughs> Luna Mosley. <laughs> Victoria Newton. Victoria Reikik. <laughs> Tamara Verity Smith. Um. 
Lambert Sua. And to receive the uh, Dean's Award for the programme, Sophie Danielle Willems. Elham Mohammed. The MSc Dental Technology. Bethany Brown. Dan Godfrey. Giovanna Grados. Shanti Gurung. Amy McKay. Jay Milne. Adroba Amoa Kue. Dr. Henry Dawson will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health. Joanne Lisa Driscoll. Oscar James Lewis Diamond. Michelle Canonis. <laughs> Rebecca Catherine Duncan Hartle. <laughs> Christina Louise Gardner. <laughs> Charlotte Hornblow. Daniel Humphreys. Sarah Louise Lee. Thomas Luptak. The next student is the recipient of the Zoe Pieris Programme Award for Environmental Health. Helen Amelia Auckland Murphy. Katerina Morgan. The next student is the recipient of the Rachel Stickler Award. This is Rebecca Jane Nock. Joseph Samuel Richards. Sarah Louise Smith. Jacob Thomas. Marcian Thomas. David Ward. Georgie Woods. Dr. Ruth Fairchild will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology.
Enya Arnold. Emily Margaret Dolman. Caitlin Elizabeth Felder. Um, receiving the Ray Newbury Programme Award for BSc Food Science and Technology, Billy Alec Golding. Elizabeth Hobbs. Evangeline Estrella Josephine Jennings. Imogen Eve Lawrence. <laughs> William Luca, but I've got to say Billy. <laughs> Thank you. Emma Mully. Siddharth Murugan. Ashley Priest. Meredith Margaret Rowley. Avinash Sandanan Dun Sudish. Hannah Talbot. Kerios Thomas. Joanne Thomas. <laughs> Elizabeth Caroline Tucker. Receiving Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition, Victoria Evans. <laughs> Toby Hibbard. <laughs> William Ike. <laughs> Manon Flair James. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, Manon receives the Programme Award for BSc Nutrition. Sorry. <laughs> William Samuel Jones. <laughs> Jasmine Savage. Francis May Arnaldo Zaldua. Yeah. Marissa's journey on the BSc Nutrition degree started five years ago in 2018, and she's had to deal with some tragic personal circumstances, which resulted in her taking some time out. Throughout her degree, Marissa has looked for opportunities to make a difference. For example, she worked on the holiday activity and food programme, delivering nutritional workshops to children at summer camps. On her return to university in her final year, Marissa was working as a health and wellbeing coach, helping support people to reduce their risk of diabetes. Unfortunately, she was then diagnosed with a brain tumour. But completely undeterred, she continued to study all through and we are very proud and extremely inspired by Marissa and delighted to see her graduate today. Many congratulations to Marissa, who has the winner of the Dean of the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences Dean's Award, Marissa Milton.
Dr Amanda Squire will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition and Dietetics. Claire Louise Ainsworth. Emin Akasha. Vinaya Bafuti. Maya Bethany Carter. Emily Charles. Georgina Rebecca Churchill. Georgia Dooley. Emma Mackay. Harriet Maxwell. Tiana Nicholson. Conrad Philip Pindaya Norton. Kira Marie Pritchard. Marie Roberts. Erin Roberts. Cara Ryan. Sophia Saeed. Anay Eve Smith. Sophie Ella Stark. Bethan Naomi Volters. Theon Williams. And now for the postgraduate diploma in dietetics, Maya Barra. Lily May Bambury Pew. Emily Bolwell. Camilla Donaldson. Heidi Ellis. Ellen Farrell. Emma Haskins. Bethan Jehu. Chloe Olds. Rachel Powell. Eleanor Amy Reed. And 
For this student, we have the Programme Award for the Postgraduate Diploma in Dietetics, Lauren Sedgley. <laughs> Eleanor Walls. Charlotte Wilson. Okay. And now for the Master of Science in Dietetics, Isabella Guglielmi. and Master of Science in Advanced Practice, Dietetics, Sarah Louise Andrews. Annika Lewis-Smith. Dr. Amy Pryor will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Natalia Pulver. <laughs> Whitney Afalabi. Let's go, Whitney! <laughs> Congratulations, Mary. Mawa Avad. <laughs> Eve Baker. <laughs> Catherine Baldrian. Erin <laughs> Barden. Jade Barnett. <laughs> Samuel Bevan. <laughs> James Brown. <laughs> Nia Seren Clark. <laughs> Olivia Fowler Baker. Thank you very much. Chanel Michelle Gillard. <laughs> Jacob Godsell. <laughs> Emma De Freitas Gonzalez. Nicola Hayes. <laughs> Josie Anais Hopkins. Cameron Jeffers. <laughs> Megan Johns. <laughs> Megan Jones. Phoebe Jones. <laughs> and Harrod Kinsett. <laughs> Jessica Llewellyn. <laughs> Noural Zafira Binti Mohammed Basiron. <laughs> Harry Morgan. <laughs> Dominic Morris. <laughs> Ellen O'Mahony. <laughs> Emlyn Peter Oxenham.
Joseph Provis. Well Tom. Tom Morris Quinn. Hinder Rahman. Daniel Reed. Uh, yeah. So the next student is awarded the Programme Award for BSc Psychology, James Rooney. Jasmine Rowlands. Polly Sanders. <laughs> Kyla Zara Scott. <laughs> Shayla Tellum. <laughs> Jenna Warner. Almanita Catherine Ivy Weston. <laughs> Bethan White. <laughs> Laura Wood. <laughs> the next student is awarded the British Psychological Society Welsh Branch Student Prize, Rebecca Young. Okay, so the next students are awarded the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Psychology and Forensic, Grace Elston. <laughs> Isabel Glynn. <laughs> Emily Holmes. <laughs> Katie Hughes. Sophie Lee Mordecai. <laughs> the next students are awarded the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Psychology in Health and Clinical, Edmonda Badger. <laughs> Benjamin Joshua Goddard. Laurie Matthews. <laughs> Matilda McCarthy. <laughs> Georgia Neve Milani. <laughs> uh, the next students awarded the British Psychological Society Branch Student Prize, Warda Abida Nazir. Matthew O'Donoghue. <laughs> Jessica Wall. <laughs> ben Luke Williams. Dr. Heidi Sage will announce the students who have been awarded Master of Science in Health Psychology. The Programme Award for MSc Health Psychology, Caitlin Ballinger. <laughs> Nicola Cowan. Harris Dale. Thank you. Thank you. 
Jaden Jean Alexandra Keane Daney. Abby Evans. Sarah Louise Griffiths. Rebecca Lidstone. Louise Pemberton. Catherine Spateri. Dr. Karen DeClaire will announce the students who have been awarded a postgraduate diploma in practitioner forensic psychology. Charlotte Anson. <laughs> Margaret Ann Cloherty. Chloe Daff. Gemma Elizabeth Wynne Jones. Emma Sarah Lowndes. Danielle Mercer. Charlotte Ann O'Connell. So these students are now awarded the Master of Science in Forensic Psychology. Peyton Barrett. Eleanor Brooks. Chantal Evans. Rhiannon Fenn. Sophie Morgan. Uh, this student has got the Programme Award for the MSc in Forensic Psychology, Molly Simmons. The Student-Led Teaching Award for Outstanding Postgraduate Research Supervisor of the Year is awarded to Dr. Karen DeClaire. Dr. Ian Bazodis will announce the students who have been awarded Master of Research Psychology. Adrienne Hayhoe. <laughs> Nikki Saddington. Professor Sarah Curran will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Podiatry. Roda Abdi. <laughs> Sarah Garabsan Alabushi.
Rowan Salem Alabib. Davina Khan Anand. Anjali Chauhan. Jay Cusack. Sean Louise Davis. Victoria Hallam. The next student is a recipient of three prizes, for one for the Canterbury Award for the Best Project, the Dermatomics Award for the Best Clinical Performance, and Programme Award for the BSc Honours Podiatry, Joan Ellis Jenkins. Rhys Lewis. Meryl Lloyd. Liam Andrew Lynch. Saad Salam Mazar. Keris Lee Morgan. <laughs> Tegan Ray Phillips. <laughs> Zoe Richards. <laughs> Chelsea Louise Royal. Fionn Walsh. The next student to receive the Master of Science and Advanced Practice Musculoskeletal Studies, Florian Petit. Rhea Bayliss will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Speech and Language Therapy. Olivia Jo Bales. <laughs> Hannah Beckett. Laura Bulpit. <laughs> Debria Kirchis. <laughs> Catherine Louise Daniel. <laughs> Rebecca Davis. The next student is the recipient of the uh, Natalie Webb uh, Clinical Prize, Eleanor Duggan. The next student is the recipient of the Tafisok Prize for Aphasia, Townsend Friend. Alexandra Frost. Mia Gethings. <laughs> Sophie Grabham. <laughs> Catherine Green. <laughs> Bethan Gums. <laughs> Okay, 
The next student is the recipient of the Speech and Language Therapy Academic Prize, Leah Jarrett. <laughs> Olivia Johnson. Keris Ellen Kellett. Anna Kerr. Risha Kettridge Flint. Keris and Harrod Lloyd Jones. Rebecca McDonald Taylor. <laughs> Hannah Maunder. <laughs> Nicola Jane Miller. <laughs> Kirsten Dara Moore. Carly Mormon. <laughs> Nia Morris. <laughs> Timothy Edward Mitten. <laughs> Lois and Harrod Roberts. Carla Sharrock. <laughs> Emily Shreve. <laughs> Emily Charlotte Watson. Professor Faye Zell will announce a student awarded Master of Science in Advanced Practice, Speech and Language Therapy. Claire Williams. The student-led teaching award for outstanding personal tutor is awarded to Karis Williams. Professor Bay Sow will announce the students who have been awarded postgraduate certificate in advanced practice audiology. Yeah, Master of Science um, in Advanced Program, Practice Program, Audiology, um, Ashok, Nayak, and Ben North. And Sandra and Chuli Paramount Bell and Suresh. Nice. And Natin Paul Daniel. Anna Dissemin and Goodwin. Uha Kohli. Daniel Thomas, Georgia.
Dr Andy Watts will announce the student awarded Doctor of Philosophy. Right, uh, for the Doctor of Philosophy for Terry May Howells for a thesis entitled Developing Practical Tools for Measuring Cognitive Control and Adverse Behaviour in Secure Psychiatric Settings. <clears throat> Terry is to be commended for taking on a research project in a very challenging clinical environment of a secure psychiatric hospital. The problem she chose to address was that risk assessments of people detained in those contexts rely heavily on what patients say about themselves. And they don't always tell the truth. Also, such judgments are informed by clinical intuition, which we know to be unreliable. So Terry's thesis explored the viability of using measures of central executive control as an unfakeable measure uh, for risk behaviours in forensic psychiatric settings. So Terry Bay Howells, Doctor of Philosophy. Congratulations, Terry. Well done. Professor Dallas James will announce a student being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. For the thesis entitled The Visualization of Hypertension, a novel communication approach to support adherence to medication, Sarah Brown researched the feasibility of using a visual intervention to illustrate what happens in the body when a person has high blood pressure and the long-term effects of this on the brain. The VISTA BP was co-produced by a multidisciplinary team from cardiovascular physiology, digital technology, animation, psychology, pharmacy, and importantly, patients. Sarah tested the use of the VISTA BP with patients diagnosed with high blood pressure in community pharmacies across Cumtav Morganog University Health Board. The findings were very positive in that after the intervention, patients had a better understanding of what high blood pressure is and the role of prescribed medication in managing it. Also, blood pressure readings were significantly reduced three months later. Sarah was applauded by the examiners on her exceptional ability to accomplish this research despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Sarah Brown. the students from Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences. Will all students please stand for the admittance by the Vice-Chancellor? By the authority vested in me, by Cardiff Metropolitan University, I admit you to your various awards as indicated in the programme and to all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations, Class of 2023.
you now please be seated? I now call upon John Taylor, Chair of Cardiff Metropolitan University's Board of Governors, who will address the audience. Uh, <clears throat> distinguished guests, uh, but importantly, the graduating class of 2023, just add my congratulations and that of the board uh, on your success. The staff and the governors are really, really proud of what you've achieved. And as the vice chancellor commented at the beginning, despite uh, COVID uh, having a massive uh, impact on the way in which you had to go about your studies. You're now alumni of, and therefore ambassadors for, Cardiff Met University. And as a graduate, you are part of the growing Cardiff Met alumni of around just over a quarter of a million uh, all across the globe. So it's not exclusive, but uh, it's still a pretty small club. Uh, you're starting a new chapter in your life as a, as a graduate. Remember, the university's always here to support you, and we want to continue to help so that you can make a success of your life. We do offer practical and individual advice on employability and careers to all of our graduates. So please, please do ask if you require any support uh, or advice. Can I ask you please also to try and keep in touch uh, and allow us to continue to help you and let us know about all your successes because we know you're going to go and achieve great things with your life and what we want to do is share those stories with the next graduating class and the class uh, after that to give people uh, real ambition. Remember you've acquired an education and a set of professional skills underpinned by values and I can go back a long long time to when I was at university and remembering the values that I that I got uh, from that you've got the power to do real good uh, with the education you've now gained uh, and please remember that so on behalf of all of us at the university we wish you great success in the future well done Prinjai Agustayon, Achi, Grather Digion, Dui Vila, Dai Victory. Friends and guests, and you, the class of 2023 graduates, we hope that this day was worth waiting for and that you have all enjoyed this graduation ceremony. Do continue to celebrate throughout the day and have a safe journey home. Please, can you all stand? and remain standing until the platform party has left the auditorium. I call upon the Chancellor to formally close the ceremony. Diochenbaugh. Distinguished guests, I declare this congregation closed. Many, many congratulations to you all. Thank you.